Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the Transit Moves Fort Worth Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Allen, Communications Specialist for the City of Fort Worth Department of Transportation and Public Works. My name is Chad Edwards. I'm the Regional Mobility and Innovation Officer here with the City of Fort Worth. So today we're going to talk for a little while about the Transit Moves Fort Worth plan. Uh, Chad's going to give us a brief overview. We're going to answer some questions. Uh, if you have questions about the plan as we go along, please let us know, type them out. Uh, and we'll answer them, or if we don't get them during the broadcast, we will be sure to answer them after. Chad? All right, well, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us today. It's, it's uh, important for us to talk about the future of public transportation here in Fort Worth, and we appreciate you spending your time, um, lunchtime, I guess it is, to talk about uh, public transportation and listen uh, to, to us for a few minutes. Uh, the, the Transit Moves Fort Worth plan is really a, um, a, a reevaluation of the current transit services that we have here in Fort Worth. Uh, and it provides Trinity Metro some input on how we, the city, will, should see the transit system of the future. And it's important to us because we're growing very fast. Uh, there's about 54 people per day coming to the city of Fort Worth. And uh, we know that we're not going to be able to build enough roads to accommodate all these people. So we need to have uh, transportation options for people, um, including roadways, including public transit, and, and any first last mile options. Great. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the plan and why is it important for residents of Fort Worth? So the plan really is an opportunity for the citizens of Fort Worth uh, and anyone interested in public transportation here in Fort Worth to really have their their voices heard about what they do and don't like about the current uh, transportation system, um, the transit system. Uh, we've heard a lot of uh, feedback from people about the, uh, the buses don't run frequently, uh, they don't run on time, um, and so those are things that we're hearing and we want to make sure that we, kinda, we address uh, with Trinity Metro uh, as we move forward with this uh, transit plan. Great. Uh, so where can people who are interested in the plan uh, find out more about it? Yeah, so that's a great uh, question to start off with. You can go to transitmovesfortworth.com uh, to find out more about the, the transit plan. We have documents all the way from when we started the, uh, this uh, effort um, all the way up to, to today. We have public meetings coming up, and we'll show you those later uh, of where they're located. but. Uh, it's really a, an opportunity to um, access the information that we're sharing with the public, uh, which is on transitmovesfortworth.com. Okay, great. Uh, how long have you been working on the plan? So we, we've been working on this plan for, for quite a while. It's a little over a year now, and we're at the point where we're wrapping up with draft recommendations. Uh, we've, we've had a lot of public meetings over the, the past year, uh, some in May, some in uh, November last year, and then we have another round of public meetings that are ongoing here in March. Uh, and um, it's, it's really just been a, a, a year-long process to evaluate the system and try to come up with uh, recommendations on, on improvements to the system as well. Okay. So what are uh, expectations on the plan? Well, the expectations are that we, uh, we find opportunities for improvement and, and make improvements to the transit system here in Fort Worth. And so we're, we're spending time um, with, uh, with the public, we're spending time with elected officials, we're spending time with uh, Trinity Metro to uh, see what their uh, opportunity for improvement is as well. Uh, great. So you mentioned Trinity Metro. Right. Have you, uh, how much coordination have you had with them on the plan? So Trinity Metro has been a really good partner for us. Um, you know, obviously this is a city plan that we're recommending uh, improvements to Trinity Metro's transit system. And so they have been uh, at the table the entire process uh, providing feedback on, yes, this works, yes, this is a challenge. Uh, but they've always been there to, to help out and, uh, and help guide the, the transit plan um, as a whole. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit about what's included in the plan. 
So the plan itself, um, we had some goals for the plan, uh, and those goals were to uh, enhance the transit system um, and make it more attractive to riders, not just the current riders, but to, to new riders as well. Uh, we wanted to connect people to life's activities, and that is, you know, uh, how do people get from home to work, to church, to restaurants, to the library, and back again? How do they do that? And, and what are those, um, um, those frequent uses of those uh, trips? So what are those life activities? How do we connect them to that? We wanted to, to improve Fort Worth's quality of life by making the system thrive and give them an opportunity, give riders an opportunity to uh, utilize a, a, a successful system and then make it sustainable as well. And so we wanted to make the system sustainable not only financially but environmentally uh, which means that we need to uh, have really um, um, good data so that we can um, influence how the transit system works over time. I've got a slide I'd like to show you that also includes some initiatives that we've included in each of our recommendations as well. And so you can see there on the screen that uh, there's six initiatives. Uh, the first is to develop a high capacity transit services. And I think we've done that with the recommendations that we've identified uh, in the plan. We want to improve, obviously, existing services. Why else would we be doing this if we didn't want to improve those services? Expand transit to new areas. That could include parts of Fort Worth, but it also includes opportunities outside of Trinity Metro's current service area uh, that, that is the same boundary as, as the city of Fort Worth and Blue Mound. Uh, what are those other opportunities outside of Fort Worth within Tarrant County? There's 40 other cities within Tarrant County that have an opportunity to participate uh, in the transit system to move their residents around, and, and we want to make sure that that's uh, an opportunity for them as well. I do know that Trinity Metro has been exploring options with uh, several cities, Crowley, Forest Hill, uh, Everman, uh, as far as uh, opportunities for uh, services, and so hopefully more cities will be participating as well. We also want to improve access to transit, and so that's, that's something that um, sounds uh, pretty simple, but it's, it's, it's a, a challenging task in that we want to make sure that uh, it's easy to get to those transit stops. In some cases, it might just be a post with a sign in grass, and if it's worn enough, it could be muddy. Uh, we want to make sure that there's an opportunity for us to put in a sidewalk to make that a little bit easier way uh, for the rider to, to utilize that stop and then get on the, the bus um, without having any uh, muddy shoes or anything like that. Uh, the fifth option, or the fifth um, um, uh, improvement there is uh, improved facilities and amenities and we want to make sure that uh, those amenities and facilities that have been uh, with Trinity Metro since the beginning start to get some refresh uh, and some technology updates as well. We know that uh, smartphones have uh, really kind of taken over um, in the last many years and I don't know that the transit system has necessarily kept up with those technology improvements as it could as far as uh, rider information uh, technology services. And then lastly is, you know, make the service easier to use. Uh, and that's a very, it's a simple statement, but it's a, it's a challenge, another challenge for us in that some of us are very uh, in tune with how you use transit because we do this on a daily basis. And there's other people who use the transit system from time to time and don't have that opportunity for uh, experience in the system. So how can we make those improvements where people uh, feel comfortable using the transit system because it's easy for them to use? Okay, uh, we do have a question from Julia. Um, it sounds like there's a lot, of, a, a lot of information in this plan. Are there any recommendations that can be implemented early? Yeah, that's a great question. So some of those recommendations uh, include um, partnerships that we have um, worked with Trinity Metro on. Uh, they include uh, zip zones, for example, the mercantile zip zone, and then the uh, uh, 
near south side zip zone that Trinity Metro will implement uh, here later this spring. And that's in the medical district area. Uh, we also have uh, partnered with Trinity Metro on a smartphone app that you'll see roll, be rolled out later uh, this year. Uh, and that uses the same technology that Dart uses with their GoPass app. Uh, and so what, what we were trying to do is as we were working through the transit plan itself, um, what were some of those opportunities that we saw as we were working through it and what could we advance on early so that we could get this plan uh, up and running. And so we're not waiting until a plan is approved uh, to uh, implement anything. We're already starting to make those improvements. And those are really a, a, a partnership between the Transit Authority, Trinity Metro, and, and the City of Fort Worth. All right, well, how are we gonna use this plan in the future? So the plan itself, um, it, it's a guide on how to make improvements uh, to the transit system and we've broken it, uh, it's a 25 year plan, we've broken it into three parts, a short, medium and long term uh, implementation. Uh, the short term implementation time frame is five years. Uh, we think that we know enough now that we can make improvements in the transit system within the next five years and we've identified what those recommendations are. Uh, and then the next two periods, the midterm and the long term, are broken into 10-year periods each. And so uh, the idea uh, for the transit plan itself is that we, um, we evaluate this plan periodically. So as, as changes occur within the city of Fort Worth, the development occurs within the city, that we have that opportunity again to, to take another look at where are the bus routes, where is the service being provided, uh, how frequent is that service, and then if there's a, an opportunity to make changes, then we do that uh, on a more regular basis than what we have done over the past um, 10 or 15 years. Okay, uh, so I know you've been working on this uh, project for quite a while. Uh, I know there were public meetings that were being conducted uh, as far back as November. Uh, when the, when the, those initial meetings were happening, there were three different scenarios uh, in the plan. Uh, incremental investments, uh, aspirational outlook, uh, and then visionary city. Where has the plan landed uh, with these scenarios? Uh, as you can imagine, um, uh, the visionary city was uh, an overwhelming um, winner in that. Uh, a, many of the people that participated in the survey and um, participated in the public meetings that we had back in November had voiced their opinion that, hey, we want to make sure that we're, we're on the cutting edge. We want to be out in front. Uh, we need to catch up uh, with, um, with the transit systems of peer cities. And so that visionary city um, recommendation was one of those. Um, as we looked at the recommendation and looked at the visionary city, um, it was a very expensive plan, uh, which is a challenge for us with a limited funding source. And so after some, some work with that, we, we kept almost all of the recommendations in the visionary city except for one. And what we had to do, uh, thinking of funding uh, of the plan itself, uh, future funding of the plan itself, what we had to do was replace any light rail recommendations that we had in it with bus rapid transit. Uh, bus rapid transit is one of those um, services that is very similar to light rail, uh, but it's not near as expensive as light rail. Light rail on average is about $110 million per mile, and the bus rapid transit or BRT is only about $30 million per mile. And so you can see there just in that uh, one mile uh, comparison there where you would have a lot of savings on a, a recommendation that might be tens or twenties of miles, if you will. Um, so um, that's, that's really where we, we landed on was uh, a visionary city with a BRT component and not a light rail component. Okay. Uh, it sounds like there's a lot of, lot of things in the plan. Can you tell us a little bit more about one of the bigger items that are, that's in the plan? Yeah, sure. So one of those uh, projects that we had mentioned is the East Lancaster BRT project. So that's a, a, a corridor 
uh, that's recommended in the plan for improvements and, and to be converted into a bus rapid transit corridor. And there's already movement on that, uh, on that project itself. Uh, we've worked with Texas Department of Transportation, Trinity Metro, North Central Texas Council of Governments, uh, and obviously the city of Fort Worth and, and different departments on um, what could that project look like. Uh, it's about a seven mile project. Uh, it would be a dedicated right of way uh, for the BRT, very similar to light rail, except you just take out the rail and, and have that dedicated uh, right of way section there for transit. Uh, transit signal priority, it would have stations very similar to that of, of light rail as well. And, uh, and so we're, we're already moving out on that, uh, uh, developing a scope for that project so that we can work with the Federal Transit Administration and others on uh, the project development portion of that. Okay, uh, we have a question from Mandy that's come in. Uh, does the transit plan include an expansion of Fort Worth Bike Share? So there's always an opportunity for Fort Worth Bike Share to be expanded, uh, although we may not call it out specifically in the transit plan, I think that's always an opportunity for us as a first last mile option to provide bike share in other locations uh, across the city, not just in some of the, the uh, downtown locations, but anywhere across the city uh, that can get people access to transfer centers or rail stations or, or just any frequent bus stops as well. Great, uh, so you've, you've thrown out some pretty big numbers uh, so far today. So what's the overall cost estimate for the plan right now? So, yeah, so the, the transit is expensive. Uh, when we first were looking at the Visionary City uh, cost estimate, it was $6.2 billion. Uh, and that included a, a many miles of light rail. And as I mentioned earlier, that as we evaluated uh, our opportunities and our recommendations, um, funding $6.2 billion of uh, light rail was, was a challenge for us because it's not only the capital cost, it's also the maintenance and operating costs as well. And so we've got to keep that in mind um, as we're looking and, and making these improvements uh, to the system. And so what we've done is with our, rec our draft recommendations, we've identified that the cost estimate now is $2.8 billion. And so uh, about half of what it was when we first rolled this out uh, visionary city uh, back in November last year. Uh, but there's some other opportunities there that with those capital investments, um, there's an opportunity for us to, to get a, a matching grant to the capital investment grant program that Federal Transit Administration has. And uh, what we might be able to do is actually reduce that overall cost, you know, again, from the 2.8 billion down to $1.6 billion. Uh, which would be a, a, a savings of, of 1.1 or really a cost sharing of $1.1 billion uh, with the federal government. So there's still some opportunity there. And remember, this is over a 25 year period and not uh, all 1.6 billion or $2.8 billion that have to be uh, collected or attained in, in this, this year or next year. It's over a 25 year period. Okay, uh, so David brought up an interesting point um, when we were discussing uh, rapid bus versus light rail. Uh, did we consider maintenance costs uh, versus on a bus versus light rail when we were looking at the cost savings? Yes, definitely. Um, uh, you know, it's it, we think about both the maintenance cost and the capital cost when we're putting this plan together. And uh, Trinity Metro again was there with us as we were uh, making these recommendations and these discussion points is that, all right, if, if these are the recommendations that we're gonna have uh, from the city to the transit authority, um, are they gonna be able to fulfill these projects um, and, and be able to maintain them for a long period of time? And, um, and in many cases, they're, they're agreeing with that. And knowing that it all doesn't start at one point in time, that it is implemented over time, uh, really helps them because then that, that helps them uh, budget appropriately um, for these projects. Okay, uh, so when do you think you'll, uh, you'll brief the city council on the current version of the plan? Uh, I'm planning on taking the plan to the Infrastructure and Transportation Committee meeting 
uh, in April. And so that will be the ITC meeting in April to talk about this. And then after that, with feedback and conversation from council members, we'll see uh, how that proceeds, if it goes off onto uh, full council or if there's other uh, opportunities for discussion with the ITC. Okay. Uh, David mentioned again uh, when talking about maintenance, what about road maintenance uh, of the line where the bus would use versus a rail? Did we? Did we look into the, to so that's, that as well? That's included as well. Um, you know, again, it's a partnership between the two uh, agencies. So where, where the city will have clear responsibility for any of the main lanes uh, or general purpose lanes, if you will, on uh, East Lancaster, I'm assuming he's uh, talking about that. Um, sort of the city will be responsible for that. But then Trinity Metro will be responsible for the um, the upkeep of the transit system itself, the transit way, the dedicated right of way that they have, they'll be responsible for that. So if any potholes uh, pop up, if you will, on uh, the, the BRT corridor, then Trinity Metro will be the one responsible for making those improvements. Okay, um, so let's talk about again about benefits uh, of this plan for residents of the city. Kind of, what kind of uh, what kind of details do you think you have on that? Yeah, so so benefits really include uh, improved transit system. Uh, right now, there are quite a few routes that are uh, 60 minute headway. So that that bus comes once an hour, uh, which is very difficult for you to plan your day around. If you're going grocery shopping, and uh, you have to plan your your trip to the grocery store with our headways, then that's a challenge because if you miss that bus by five minutes, then you're sitting there with a bunch of um, food that needs to be refrigerated in your bags for a long period of time. And so, uh, and that's just one example. Um, and what we're trying to do is provide people uh, improved, um, improved coverage, improved uh, frequency for, for transit which is really, it's kind of the, the, the no-brainer type of transit system where you don't really have to look at a schedule to utilize the transit system. Um, and in some cases, in more of the dense areas, that'll be easier to achieve. Uh, but in some of the um, other areas that aren't quite as dense, then that, that'll be a little bit more of a challenge to do. Uh, but what we are trying to do is not have any 60-minute headway uh, bus routes. Uh, and, and if anything, our highest would be 30 minutes. Uh, and ideally, we would get down to 10 and 15 minutes where we can for many of our bus routes. So that's that frequent transit network that we're really trying to focus on. Okay. Well, we do have another question that just came in. Uh, I, we may have discussed this earlier, but I think there may have been a, a few audio issues. Um, uh, partnering with suburbs or, or other cities right uh, throughout the region to help with funding um, could you elaborate on that a little bit sure so although this is a plan that we're focusing on Fort Worth uh, and Blue Mound and the services that are within the city that doesn't mean that we're not uh, excluding any of the cities outside of Fort Worth that are within Tarrant County uh, we want to make sure that they have an opportunity as well to participate and if uh, if there are opportunities for them to partner with Trinity Metro and, and get connected within the rest of the, the transit system, we'd be more than happy to, to talk. Uh, I know Trinity Metro is already having those, those discussions with several cities uh, around Tarrant County. And um, I know that the, the North Central Texas Council of Governments is working on a Tarrant County transit plan as well. Uh, that will do a very similar activity is talk to all those 40 other cities in Tarrant County about public transit and how they can connect within uh, or to the transit system that we currently have. Okay, uh, we're starting to run out a little time here, but are there any last comments that, that you wanted to share with everyone listening? Sure, I, I want to remind everybody of the public meetings that we have. We have a graphic for that as well. Uh, so we do have several public meetings over the next, uh, over this coming week. There's four more um, tonight, uh, lunchtime tomorrow, and then uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday night and then we have two more we skip for spring, spring break so everybody can go and have fun for spring break uh, and then we're back again on the 18th and 19th 
of uh, March for public meetings. So you can see there we've identified where they're located, what time they start, and then even if uh, you wanted to ride a bus to get there, we try to provide those uh, bus services as well. Great. Well, I think that's all the time we have uh, this afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for joining us uh, and sending your questions. Please continue to send them. Uh, we'll watch the post, uh, and we'll try to get back to, to with any answers to your questions. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.